broad topic. In this video, you will learn how to break down your broad topic into manageable research topics. Let's begin. Deciding what to research can be easy or hard depending on the assignment given to you by your professor. Are you allowed to do something that interests you or something based on your major? Does your professor have a list to choose from? Can it be anything you like? Pause the video here to think about what you want to research. Hit play when you're ready to move on. Great. You have an idea for what you want to research. You might stick with this topic or change your mind and discover something new to research. And that's okay, so long as your professor approves your final choice. Time to take that topic and yes, the librarian is saying it, Google it. Yes, Google can be used for many things and to get started to begin our knowledge, our working knowledge of this topic is okay. To better demonstrate how to get started, we're going to be using the example pollution. It's a very large, broad topic that has many branches we can write about. We'll start with what we know, perhaps types of pollution. What other types can you find in your Google search? So we have our broad topic pollution and we found out a bit on Google such as soil pollution. And this even leads us to find out, you know, about landfills as well. Is this the only type of soil pollution? No, there's more, there's other ways that pollution can uh, affect the soil, but we're gonna stick with one example. Since the research goes on to show us also that there's water pollution, air pollution, and even what happens with all that pollution and how it affects climate change. The activity handout that goes with this video can be filled out just like this fill in as many of these mini concepts as you can. If you need assistance, don't hesitate to ask a librarian. Choose one that interests you the most. It will make it more motivating to do the research on that topic if it's interesting to you. For our example, we're going to stick with plastic waste. Once you choose a topic you can do some more research on that topic and develop questions and some questions you might already have so for example like what do you know about this topic what uh, kind of research can you already do into google as well as what else can you find in other places can you focus this research um, on a specific area are you interested on in doing just maybe like the united states or are you interested in comparing two countries for question, the last question, what if you can't find anything? We're gonna come back to that before we finish. So what did we find out? Well, plastic waste can be found in the ocean. We've heard or read single-use plastic straws are a cause of plastic waste. Is it the only cause? We've gotta do some more research. Fast food industry, are they the ones responsible for the single-use plastic waste? So what can that focus be? Focus could be for our purposes is single use plastic waste. Is it the main cause of plastic waste in the United States? Now we're coming back to this question. So plastic waste is a good topic. Lots can be found on it, but perhaps the topic you've chosen does not have much and or you're struggling to find information. Ask your librarian. Don't worry that you won't find anything. If you ask your librarian, they will uh, help you um, with suggestions on where you can actually do um, additional searches and help you with those searches and even tell you what kind of sources you'll find for your topic. And yes, even if they do agree and say, well, you know what, I don't think, you know, even if your librarian is themselves is struggling to find resources for you, then they can and will suggest a different topic and you can talk to your professor on whether or not that new topic is okay. Last thing, you wanna try the search strategy. There's a search strategy video on our YouTube channel, or you can visit our guide at libguides.utep.edu slash the search. And what this will do is actually show you how to break down your topic, whatever your focus is on, and actually show you how to break it out into keywords that you can plug into a database and create that advanced search. Google can give you um, many sources, millions of sources in 0.02 seconds. 
but databases can do the same thing, but they require you to use keywords. Google can take a whole question or a whole phrase, databases do not. So we really recommend looking at the search strategy and seeing exactly what you need to do. If you need any assistance, contact the library at 915-747-5643 or text us at 915-249-3383 or ask us online through libanswers.utep.edu.